Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a video that I've been meaning to make for a while, but I think it's very appropriate now considering we are in the heart of winter, depending on where you live. I am based in New York City and it is absolutely freezing here. We had our first kind of big snow this week, so I thought what better of a time than to walk through my coat collection, what I love about it, what I feel like's missing, what I might want to add, even though I feel like I've done a good job of sort of rounding it out. I posted a video where I walked through my closet and someone so wisely pointed out that they were like, where are your coats? <laughs> and I completely forgot that I keep my coats as well as my sneakers in a hall closet because like I said, I am in New York City, so space is very limited here and coats take up quite a lot of room, which is also why I think I'm pretty, this might not look edited to a lot of people, but I feel like I've edited this quite a bit. <laughs> and so I actually had a friend come over and she was like, you have three wool coats, you don't need that. And I'm like, they're in different colors. <laughs> so if you're very into fashion, you know the struggle, but Anyway, I thought I would film this as a follow-up to that previous video, which I will leave linked below and above where I walk through my closet as well as my sneaker collection. And yeah, let's jump right into it. I'm wearing just a very neutral base layer because I wanted to kind of try each coat on for you and you just kind of see the coat for what it is and not really the outfit underneath. Even though I will be filming a video about this brand that I'm wearing because I absolutely love at least this one piece that I've gotten from them. They're called Marcella and they're kind of one of those Instagram brands like L'Atelier. They're based out of New York, but I discovered them on Instagram. So I wanted to order a couple more pieces and then do like a little haul kind of review video for you guys because they do have a big sale going on right now. But this piece in particular I love because it's this really nice thin kind of tissue turtleneck and it has this gorgeous sheer panel sort of at the top. So the thing that I like about their brand is that kind of like because of Alice, they're basics, but they have like interesting design elements to them, which I really love. So wearing that with my frame leather pants that I love, love, love so much and will never be getting rid of these. If you've also seen my closet walk through, you'll notice I have a lot of leather pants. These are the number one pair of leather pants that I own. So anyway, without further ado, <laughs> I've organized my coat collection into kind of different themes. So I thought I would walk through first sort of like my everyday coats that I wear. Like I mentioned, I have them in three different colors, which of course is important depending on, you know, what I'm wearing. If I am wearing an all black outfit, I actually love to wear a non black coat, like this coat from Koss right here. Koss has such incredible coats. I will leave some of my favorites of like each brand that I talk about below because this is a coat I actually purchased years ago. I mean, at least five or six years ago, and it's still in such beautiful shape. It's worn so well. It's one of those coats where it's going to be a bit of an investment. It's going to be three to $400 when you purchase it. Sometimes you can get them on sale, which is nice, but I also love a blanket coat, which is what I would call this one. It's more of like a wrap coat. And there's something I think that A, looks really stylish and sort of effortless with a coat like this, but also it just feels really cozy, like I'm wrapping myself into sort of a blanket and like a cocoon. So I absolutely love this coat. I love Koss four coats. This has been a staple in my wardrobe for so long. It almost is kind of like a boucle fabric, but not, I'm actually not sure what this is made out of. Hold on. Oh, it is. It's 100% wool. So yeah, that is, that's great. And that's why it's worn so well. Like I said, if you invest early on in really good fabrics, then you're going to have a coat that's going to last you a long time. Even if you get tired of it, you can donate it and someone's really going to love that coat. So I love my cost coats in gray. And these coats are actually coats that I've purchased in the last two years. And this has been my favorite coat as of late. This is a coat by The Row. And if you're not familiar with The Row, it is a very fancy brand by Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. And I mean, if I could dress in The Row all the time, I would. It is so expensive, so, so expensive. This was a coat I was lucky enough to purchase 
on the real real which if you guys follow my channel i get a lot of my clothing on the real real just because it's super sustainable to shop that way as well as you can get some incredible deals on designer clothing these actually these frame denim or frame leather pants are also from the real real so if you have a piece like that that you just have in your mind and it might not be quite within your price point you know if you're buying on net-a-porte or something like that then i would recommend creating like a safe search on the real real let me know if you want me to do a video on the real real in general um but and kind of how i shop it but i think someone actually did request that a while ago but anyway <laughs> i feel like i'm being very long-winded in this video but this coat is incredible it's one of my favorite coats of all time i wore this around paris i just i feel so chic when i wear this and once again it's very oversized which i love it's also oversized in the sleeves which is great because sometimes a coat can be really oversized in the body but then the sleeves are normal so when you're trying to wear like big chunky sweaters and stuff it, they don't fit but this coat is not like that it's phenomenal even when i purchased this second hand it was still upwards of 500 dollars I had done a lot of selling on the real real and I had a huge store credit and I ended up purchasing this coat with that store credit. So definitely it was an investment, but it's my absolute favorite coat. I feel like if you're going to spend money on anything, shoes, bags, and coats are absolutely worth it. This next coat is another coat that I absolutely love. And I ended up buying this coat because I bought the Gile version of this, which I also have in here. And this is from Mango. It's a, if you couldn't tell, I have a love of the blanket coat. I'm sure there's a proper term for this, let me know. But uh, it also belts at the waist. This is actually a much lighter coat than the previous two, but it's in this gorgeous camel color, which I think having a camel coat you you just feel more luxurious when you're wearing camel for some reason and this has been it's a classic color but for whatever reason there's i feel like been a lot of these on the market recently so i'll share some of my favorites l'atelier actually has a lot of great ones too that are at a really great price point but this i was really drawn to because it is a handmade wool coat which for a brand that you normally associate with fast fashion, which is Mango, which is who makes this coat, I feel like handmade and the, those two don't normally go together. So when I got the handmade gilet and I saw what incredible quality it was, I was really excited to buy this coat and it's been amazing. And I actually kind of love that it's a little bit lighter and it's not so heavy because I think this will carry me really well into spring in addition to just being able to layer, like have a big... I get hot very easily so number one having the space in the sleeves and the body to have a really big chunky knit and it just gives you more options and this is just sort of like the icing on the cake of the outfit so i personally like how thin it is but if you're looking for a really you know warm sturdy winter coat it's probably not going to be the coat for you but on that note uh this is not the most attractive coat per se but Everyone needs a good industrial puffer jacket, I feel like, and Uniglo makes the best ones hands down because they're actually, for a puffer coat, they're quite slim and they're super warm. Like the technology that Uniglo puts into their garments is unparalleled. It's fantastic. That's why I love them for base layers, for workout gear, for their even underwear. Anything in their airism line is fantastic, but they make these incredible puffer coats year after year. They do sell out. So I will tell you, if you see one, I would just invest in it for the season, but I absolutely love it. This is a size small and I have had this for three years or so. This is just like my go-to, like I'm taking the dog out for a walk jacket. You know, I'm going on a hike jacket. Maybe when I don't want to look the most fashionable, but I need to stay warm and cozy and protect myself especially from the wind this uniglo puffer jacket is my absolute favorite they also make like shells to go underneath the things which could be nice if you want to layer with maybe a lighter wool coat and then you just sort of have your puffer vest underneath that's always an option but sometimes you just have to forego the fashion element and have something a little utilitarian and then on the complete flip side of that, this is a new addition to my wardrobe that I felt like I really needed because 
all of the coats that you see here are basically day coats. And I wanted a formal, fun coat that I could wear when I'm dressing up, when I'm going to an event, if I'm going to Broadway, if, I'm, if I just wanna be really fancy on a date night, I think it's nice to have a formal night coat. I will say my coat from the row definitely looks nice at nighttime. It's black, it's wool, totally appropriate for nighttime, but nothing better than a fun fur coat. And this was on sale for 30% off at Mango. It might still be on sale. I found a lot of the clothing brands have extended their sales well beyond Black Friday and Christmas into January. So hopefully it's still on sale and still available. But this was something I've been eyeing actually for a couple years. I tried to buy this two years ago and it sold out. They brought it back again, but it's just this fantastic oversized black faux fur coat from Mango. And it was such an incredible price. It's really incredible quality. I just think it's nice to have a formal coat. Zara had a lot of incredible formal coats as well where they were, uh, what's the word, sort of not knitted, but not fur, but they had fur trimming. So if this is like a bit much for you, I just think having just a more of an elevated night coat is something that's really nice to have in your wardrobe that you might not wear necessarily that often. But when you do, you're gonna look really fancy and really formal. And I just think that's a good staple to have in addition to like your everyday coats and your utility coat. The next three things are technically not coats. I call them gilets. Some people call them vests. I love these though for layering purposes just because like I mentioned, I actually run quite warm. And even though I live in New York City, it doesn't really get like Iowa, Ohio type cold here. We are right by the water. And so it stays more temperate. When it gets cold, it's more like the 20s, 30s. It's not like in the negatives. So I actually find that I can stay quite warm with just layering a lot. And that's why I love a gilet because I actually maintain the style of my outfit. I maintain the shape of my outfit. I can add a cool belt and then add like a lighter wool jacket on top of it per se. And so this mango, like I mentioned it earlier, but this mango handmade wool vest is just probably one of my favorite things I've added to my wardrobe. I've included it in a lot of my style videos because it just makes a really basic outfit like the one I'm wearing look so chic and so stylish. I wore this all over Paris with my little Hermes bag and I just felt like I looked so just classy, cool woman, you know, cause you do have a bit of the oversized element. I love that it's more of like a midi length, but you can also belt it in at the waist and it's just this really lovely lightweight wool fabric that can skim the body but still keep you warm and i love having my arms free so i really love wearing like a turtleneck under this and yeah this has been just one of my absolute favorite purchases and i was blown away by the quality i will say mango like with a lot of other fast fashion brands they've become a lot more expensive but i found that you get better quality that way and i kind of love that we're moving in that direction away from you know, a $10 sweater that's probably made out of plastic that's gonna go in a landfill to a handmade natural fiber like wool garment that hopefully was ethically created. And it's a price point of like $200, which is definitely a lot more expensive than $10. So I understand that, that everyone can't afford that, but I think it's better to buy less and good quality than a lot of things that you're gonna just gonna get tired of and get rid of. This gilet from, I actually would call this like an oversized blazer. I don't even know what to call this, but I got this from Zara a while ago and I love it. My only gripe with it is that it picks up lint very easily. It's very hard to get it really clean. Um, so I don't wear it all the time, but, and that's frankly because it's made of sort of like an artificial fabric, I'm sure, like polyester or something, but it really is a lovely, I love the shoulder pads. 
in this duet and I love that it looks like a giant oversized dad blazer. So once again, it just brings an element of cool to a very simple outfit like the one that I'm wearing and I think it's beautiful. I love putting a belt on this, like my big frame belt or I wore this yesterday with my Bottega belt. It just brings a little bit of warmth and structure but still looks chic especially when i'm taking pictures like if i'm going out to galleries or something and i want to like still look like i have a bit of a shape uh i feel like sometimes in the winter wardrobe i can look a real boxy when i start piling on all the oversized garments so having something a little more structured like this is fantastic i also love just wearing this loose because it feels very free and easy but still like i put in a little effort yeah, i just love the shoulder pads and i love that it's navy because i actually don't obviously have i think this is like the one maybe item in my wardrobe but i love kind of sprinkling it in because i feel like it just adds a nice contrast to all of the black that i wear this is a more utilitarian vest but i really love it it's really boxy it's kind of like more hip-hop than obviously the structured vest that i just shared but i think this is a great vest it's super super warm i love wearing a sweater under this and if i want to look a little more casual but still super cool this is a vest i wore this actually a ton last year i haven't worn it a ton this year but it's just a very cool shape it's almost a little bit rick owens-esque but obviously it's zara so it's not that crazy of a price point but once again it's this is a good one for going out, taking the dog out, um, meeting up with friends, going on walks around the city, just when I want to, you know, feel a little bit warmer, but I want to look cooler and edgier, I'd probably pair this with what I'm wearing with just my Converse high tops or like Vans. And yeah, this was a good, good addition. I haven't worn it a lot this year, but probably still will. So that's it for all of my really heavy winter coats, but well, these aren't too heavy, but you get the gist. Next are the lighter coats that I wear in the springtime or sort of transitional seasons or if I'm going to the UK there's one item which you can probably guess what it is that I wear a lot uh, or when I go home to Georgia. I don't really recommend purchasing for like travels but this is a classic piece that isn't the most New York it's probably the most New York version of it, but I don't, I don't know. I haven't worn it around in New York a lot, but it's really great for when I am traveling to a more rural area, I guess. Anyway, I'll stop blabbering on. This is one of my favorite jackets of all time for the springtime or for the early fall. And this is just super oversized. Nothing makes you look cooler, or maybe you think I look ridiculous, but I think I look cool when I wear this. This was such a great find from Frankie Shop. It's sort of an oversized canvas jacket. You can cinch it in a little bit, but I love this look of just oversized chic. When I'm wearing everything really tight or form-fitting, I love to contrast it with a huge jacket like this. I just feel like this is a very New York kind of vibe, and I love this jacket so, so, so much. It's definitely sold out. I bought it years and years ago at the Frankie Shop. I'll also share, if you're not familiar with Frankie Shop, it's one of my favorite stores. They also have some incredible coats. Whew, they are expensive though, I will say. So you can check those out. Um, but yeah, I just, I love this huge oversized jacket. This was just one of those pieces where when I put it on, I was like, I feel so cool. And that's what I love when clothing does that. Like it just, transforms you to an emotional state that you just wouldn't have had before you had it. So this jacket definitely does that. This is the piece that I was telling you about, and this is a classic barber jacket. So barber is a staple UK brand. They've been around forever. I have always wanted one because they're quite popular in the South as well, which is where I grew up. And they can range from super traditional to this one which when i saw this i was like oh my god this is like the perfect combination of a more non-traditional style so i forget exactly i think i got this on net-a-porter i'm not even sure how i found it but 
This is a barber jacket that was created in collaboration with Alexa Chung, who's like the coolest British supermodel ever. So obviously this is a much more modern kind of take on the barber jacket. I just loved obviously the cool plaid on the inside. But what I really loved about it is that it's gray, gray and black. So this definitely goes with my wardrobe so much better than a lot of the classic barber jackets, which are green and brown. And I just think this is so great. It's also a little oversized, but it still has like the big pockets where I guess technically they're designed to put like shotgun shells for when you go like shooting skeet in the country. Uh, I love that the arms, you can roll up a little bit. This is just such a great jacket for when I'm walking around in Missouri on my parents' farm or when I'm down in Georgia, you know, in a more rural area and, or like I said, when I went to London, oh, there's a little pin in here. That's so cute. But I just think this is such a fun take and it honestly keeps you really warm to have a jacket like this. This waxed canvas protects you from the wind so much and yet it's very, very lightweight. This is just a really classic brand. It's a classic jacket. This is something I'm gonna have in my wardrobe and I can wear when I'm like 80 years old. So I've always wanted a barber. I finally got a barber, but I found one that really goes with my wardrobe and goes with my style. So this is a, a great piece that I was very excited to add to my wardrobe. And then the final jacket is one that I've had for so long. It's almost kind of a blazer-esque coat, but I also love this jacket. This is another piece that made me feel so chic and cool the moment I put it on. I definitely need to clean it. <laughs> it needs a steam and it needs to be cleaned, but this is almost like a chic blazer jacket from Madewell. It's very, very lightweight, so great for like early fall or spring. And the silhouette of this, it's, I'm, I'm re-watching all the Harry Potter movies right now, so it's kind of like very Severus Snape in the sense that it's very body skimming, clean lines. Like look at the seams on the back of this jacket. Like how stunning is that? So yeah, Madewell, I love. I haven't been shopping there in a very long time, to be honest, but I used to shop there all the time. I got this jacket. This is actually probably one of the oldest, other than the cost jackets, pieces of my wardrobe. I bought this back in 2015, and it's just been such a wardrobe staple for me. I absolutely love it. I'll never get rid of it because it's just so stunning. I also love the longness of the jacket. I feel like as long as a jacket kind of covers at least to your knee, it really breaks the wind and provides you that warmth. So even though this isn't a heavy jacket, it's a beautiful jacket. It's a lovely jacket to wear into work, or this could actually substitute as a more formal jacket during the springtime or in in the early fall season. So I'll try to find some similar ones. Maybe maybe we'll brought it back, I'm not sure, but that's the last piece of my jacket collection. There is one item I wanna share, I wanna manifest and just put out in the universe, my dream coat, which is actually a camel coat. I'll try to insert a picture on the screen, but one day I would love to add a this totem coat. I don't know if that's how you say it, but this brand, definitely an investment. The coat is over a thousand dollars. I know it's insane, but I love this camel totem coat. I've never seen, I've seen a, a Latelier has a few that are like kind of close to it, but I would love that to add that to my wardrobe one day. I just think it's the most stunning coat. So elegant, so beautiful, so that is one coat I would love to add to my wardrobe. But other than that, I'm very, very happy with my coat collection. I really don't feel like I have anything really missing from it as far as things that I grab for on a regular basis or when I'm putting outfits together, I'm not like, oh, this is missing from my closet. So hopefully this helps if you're thinking about building out your coat collection. I also wanna remind you, this is over time, 100%. I mean, these are things that I purchased, like I said, that I've had at least two of these for over seven years. So these are things that I've been adding every season. So don't feel like you need to just go out and buy a bunch of coats. That's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is maybe to think 
oh, should I add something new to my wardrobe that maybe I feel like I'm missing? Or just to learn about new brands that maybe you haven't heard of before. So let me know if there's another brand where you like to get your coats that I haven't mentioned here. I know there's thousands out there. So let me know in the comments below and I will see you all in my next video.